guys have done. I really appreciate it. So, you know, um, there is a lot of need in the world, isn't there? A lot of need for people to pitch in and volunteer and to help. Um, one of our, uh, our church attendees, Brian Gitenya, was part of the Youth, with, Youth Takes Roots. Love Takes Roots, excuse me, organization. And uh, recently he went on a mission trip to Haiti. Uh, he is a nursing student, a graduated nursing student from Iowa Lakes, graduated last spring. And uh, he has, has agreed to give us a portion of his mission trip. And so at this time, Brian will uh, we'll talk about his trip. Thank you.
So, when we got to Jacobel, that's the place we got to stay. It's called the Isaiah House. Uh, the people who built this, uh, it's called uh, CCH, Community Coalition for Haiti. They've been in Haiti for uh, 23 years and they've been helping. So this is, uh, they are hostels. So they get everybody who comes to uh, for any any mission trip to Haiti, they can they can stay there. Uh, it's fifty five dollars uh, a night. You get breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, actually, it's just bunk beds. I think one of the pictures had a, a, a one of the room settings, but it was a nice place. So you can next. And then um, this is us. Uh, going to the hospital, we were traveling that, so that's how the road, the roads are. So as you can see, that's a stream of water, dirty water, that's sewage water. So all the waste products that pass through there, so people have to like jump over it. So at night, there's no lighting in the street, so you better be careful where you step on. <laughs> then that's the other mode of transportation that they use in Haiti. So as you can see, it's a pickup uh, with a back made to her. So they have seats on the, at the back, it's called a tap-tap. So if you want to make it go, you tap. So that's the name, tap-tap. If you want to make it stop, tap-tap. <laughs> and then, um, this is another orphanage we visited. Um, it, started, it was started by a Methodist church from um, Kentucky. So they, they built this, um, it's a very nice place. It has uh, five, five dormitories. Um, I think one of the pictures shows the room settings of how everything is arranged. Um, next. So that's Brianna. So the kids got, they got, they really, really liked an iPad. When Brianna got there, she took her iPad and then started playing games. Everybody, all the kids, went towards Brianna, we'll get to see more. So that's the room setting, as you can see. So they teach the kids to be organized, so they give them the bed and then a uh, box, so that's where they put their shoes, their boots, and everything. And that's that's their dining hall. So that's the, the lady who's sitting, that's the lady who runs the, it's, she's like the caretaker. Her uh, husband um, is the one who started the, the was, was the one who actually bought people and started building the buildings and the dorms. And then the guy with the, with the gray shirt with the green uh, tree, his name is um, Elise. Elise is a Harlem Adventist. He's, he's learning English, he's not very fluent in English, but he was, he's very good. So, and then that's the kids, those are the kids, um, they were playing with an iPad. And then that, that's, as you can see, they really, really love an iPad. <laughs> and then, um, so this, as, this, as uh, he was saying, that's the construction site that we were, the lab takes through these helping buildings. So when we were there, we actually got to work with the Haitians and help build and all that. So that was, as you can see, uh, Barbara Wilkerson is right there. Next. So that's the work site. Um, and this is what we got here. If you see how these guys work, it's, uh, they'll be working there. They'll be really working hard. Um, next. And then, um, so this is when we went to the hospital. And then we saw this church. So this church, um, it was uh, torn down to, after the earthquake, and it's never been built. So if you keep the next, um, so that's the inside of the church. It's all in rubbles. Um, next, as you can see. So nobody's ever tried to clean it up. So they went, they don't have money to make a new building. So they started our one with uh, the next picture. We'll show it. Uh, That's the new church. It's just right by the side of it. So the inside actually looks kind of nice. Next. Oh, maybe. Ah. So 
So that's, as you can see, that building was torn down with them during the earthquake. The other thing is like, they have pretty, pretty cool art, like art, art and designs on their walls. So, well, I don't know how, if you see, if you then see that the wall up close, it has a really, 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 really neat design on the walls. But, and then, so, so every day, we had like a schedule. So some of us will either go to the work site, others will go help at the hospital, and uh, others will go to the orphanage. So they, they were, that, that's in the morning, they were getting ready to go to the hospital. And um, next. That's where they do the hospital laundry. So all the linens, all the gowns, that's where they wash them. As you can see, somebody was doing some laundry. And then, that's the new hospital. That's the hospital that um, Dr. Wilkinson and some other doctors, they help donate some stuff to the hospital. So that's, that's new material. Um, next. That's the med search floor. That's the med search slash ER slash ICU. So everybody comes in straight on. And what they use for IV poles is two by fours. You get to see that. So and then we got like we graduating from nursing school and having this experience like going to uh, Spencer Hospital, different hospitals and knowing how nursing is in America. It's different to them. Because back there, like the primary care, like patient primary care, the family gets to do it. So, like taking them to give them a shower or offering new clothes or changing them, giving them uh, mouth cares and uh, morning cares, the family gets to do that. So that, that was kind of different. Uh, the next picture, as you can see, that's the <coughs> people. Sometimes, you know, if they run out of normal selling, they will take uh, coconuts, coconut juice, they use that as to run through the IV for fluid replacement. So that's the IV pool. And that was the that was the OB uh, OB and the NICU. Uh, we met with our, uh, she was from, a French lady, she was from Canada. She was uh, teaching, the, she was help, she was a pretty pediatrician. She was helping the, the Haitian nurses and uh, the doctors there take care of the kids. They had really, really sick kids at that NICU. And um, that's Tony. Next. So that's the ambulance. The funniest thing about this ambulance, it don't have brakes. <laughs> so when they stopped, they had to like they stopped with the pavement and then put a stone on the on the tire. It's yeah, it's next picture. And then um we went we visited this this is a university we visited uh, uh, it's called University of Notre Dame, but that's in, that's in French. So this university went to nursing school and then we, went, we met with the nursing students. Um, next. So that's Dr. Wilkinson in class teaching the nursing students um, one or two things. And then that was the translator. And this is the funniest thing. When we got there, like most people there speak, everybody speaks Korean. But the people who have gone to school and educated speak French. No, not, not a whole lot of people speak English. So finding a translator was really, really hard. So uh, Dr. Wilkinson and Barb started teaching them, but we had a translator that somehow could speak some English. And then um, Dimitri just popped up and said, I can help you. I can, he was awesome. He did a Awesome job. He did a good job. He had he struggled with the medical terms, but he did a good job. 
so nice picture. And that they were in uniform, so that's the class. And then um, this was a uh, the the lady who at the Isaiah house. There's a caretaker there. Um, her name was Laura. So she said, oh, it was like a, in the morning at that time we would, we came back from the work site. So she said, if you guys if, if, if you guys don't have anything to do for the next two hours, you can ride with us. So we went with her to this um, orphanage. So we took food there. When we got there, the kids were really emaciated. They were really tired. They hadn't eaten in days. The person who runs this orphanage, that really, I felt really bad, but there's nothing much you can do. The person who runs this orphanage, he's um, older, he's not, he's maybe in his 50s. People give him food, he ends up selling the food. So when we got there, I really, went, like, we really went into chill when we arrived at this place. We got here, we, we had, uh, we came with water, juice, they had the, the little packages, that's water. And then that's how they have their juices too. So when we got there, we gave them juice and water. The kids chugged the water like he was, it was, they did not, never had water before. They were really, really thirsty and hungry. So, next. So that, that's Laura, and that's, those are the kids. We brought them toys, we brought them food, and then next. You can see, they were, they, were really, they were really happy to see us. But the other thing, they were really hungry. They hadn't eaten. So after they dropped the juice and the water, after 45 minutes, all the kids were just laying on the table. They couldn't play anymore. They were really tired. Nice. We played as much as we could with them, we brought them food. And then, um, so some UN guys, uh, they were from Sri Lanka, but they worked with the UN. They came there, they, they had their uniform, their army uniform and whatever. So they came there, and then the caretaker like gave him a tour of the place. You know what he came and told us? We wanted to go, 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 come back the next day. He came and said, you guys cannot come back tomorrow because the UN guys are going to give you food tomorrow, so you guys cannot be here. Which really made us feel really bad. We're not here. We're, not, we're here to help the kids. We're not here for any, any we, don't have, we don't have any agenda. So that made us really feel really bad for these kids. But there's not much we can do. So that's them. That's Travis. I fell in love with Travis. <laughs> Next picture. And then, um, so this is where the orphanage that uh, Dr. Wilkerson, the lab takes through is sponsoring. Next. I know I'm feeling kind of worse he telling you next. <laughs> I'm sorry. So when we got there, we had to do assessments of the kids. Um, they were really, really sick at that time when we got there. Uh, so, I don't know, most of them had scabies. So scabies, it affects like the webs of your fingers, your, your back, your feet. So they were really, really sick. Most of them had temps of 1 over 4, 1 over 1 over 1 for 4, which is really high. So as much we gave them Tylenol, as much as we can, uh, ibuprofen, next. So we, we did assessments. We had. Um, so we had to make a, we had to like take everybody's, uh, make records of each kid and see what they needed and what was wrong with them and uh, their vital signs and everything and the assessment that we did. Uh, next. So uh, she was very hard. She did not like us at all. <laughs> and then that's the caretaker of the, in that orphanage, her name they call him, they call her Mama. So next, that's what that's their lunch. Just corn. Next, you can see them that they're having their lunch. Um, next, please. 
So we, we came with fruits, um, juice, water, we gave them. They were really, really excited. They were happy. They were really happy. So that's that, them picking mangoes. And then after that, we, we, we bought like um, stuffed, stuffed animals. So we gave them everybody one. That's Wiley, and that's Eliza. He was coming, he was excited, he was from church. So he took me to his church. It was, uh, it was a Saturday morning. So he went, it was a nice church. Everybody was really nice dressed. That's the, that's, Haitians are very, very clean. They might not have much, but they, they, they look presentable. Their church was really, really nice. So, but I couldn't stay there for long because I didn't understand what they were saying. All of us in French and Creole, so. And then, um, most of the kids there, they were really happy. They love their stuffed animals. And that's Tony and uh, Brianna giving out the. So we made bags. These are bags from Atlanta, uh, Brianna's church. Uh, kids from her church made these small bags and then put like, we put like uh, color, colors and uh, uh, mud. Uh, color and paper, and that's why we helping them color. They really loved coloring. They were really happy to see us. We spent a lot of time with them, and then this 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 is the kid that everybody fell in love with. Next, that's Tony Holden kid, and she liked the stethoscope. She really loved the stethoscope. That's Travis. <laughs> she was really amused with the stethoscope. <laughs> Next. And that, this is the funniest thing. All the kids love this dog. So, it's, it's, it doesn't get a lot to eat and it's in the chain. That's their leash. So when we got there, we saw the dog. They did like this. They all they always say that's not their dog, but they think that we're gonna take it away because it's making them sick. It's it has fleas and it's very sick. So they think we're gonna take it away. So they always like hide it when people come there. So we we gave them. Uh, we bought we, we bought the dog a leash. We bought it dog food. And uh, we tried to look for it. Uh, for clean dog, I don't know, like what they used to clean the dog, we couldn't find anything. So that's that's as much as we did, but they loved the dog. And then um, this is us walking to the work site. So as you can see, that's 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 a sewage, that's a sewer system just passing right there. So we just had to jump. <laughs> and then that's the work site. So the way they work, it's 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 really interesting. They argue a lot. They really argue a lot, but they get the work done. So we're like, what works? So next, yeah. So that's them. That's that's us working. So we had to like, they get these rocks and break it into small small pieces, and they use it for concrete, and then um. That's, that's Tony and uh, Travis. Um, that's a bucket of concrete they were, they were going to pour on the rebar. Mm -hmm. Nice. It was, it's, it was pretty hot. I was it was, it was hot up there, like, working on this direct side, it was hot, it was. Yeah, that's why the Travis. That's Alana. She was uh, putting the small rocks in the bags, and then people come over to that place. After, like, after, like, the whole after, after work site. This is where we always went and relaxed, and it's it's the top of the roof. So it's not, it's an unfinished building at the Isaiah House. So this is where we spend most of our evenings. Just waiting to, for dinner and then go to bed. Next, oops. And then that's us after after the work site. It was it was pretty intense. 
we were really, really tired. And then, um, and then that's one kid that I fell in love with. Yeah. And then, next. Au revoir means goodbye at Ravinder, see you again. And that was my presentation. And what about uh, what he was saying? The new the work site, it's almost getting done. So people are going back this September because it's 45 kids. We, they're going to have to move them from um, Port au Prince to Jacamel. And it's, they're gonna, so they're, they're shipping out a van from uh, Miami, a whole van, so they're going to use that to transport the kids. Because Port au Prince is really, really dangerous. Like, when it gets dark, it's pitch dark. You can't even see like two feet ahead of you. It's really dark. And it's it's pretty dangerous. So um, we actually um, met some people from uh, Loma Linda University from California. They have a they are with this uh, hospital at the Adventist. It's an Adventist hospital. So they have programs that they bring their students from their university to Haiti, to Haiti and um, help the Haitians like uh, make prosthetic legs, prosthetic uh, hands and um, they help them with a physical therapist and then we met with one doctor, uh, our orthopedics doctor, he was doing the surgeries there too. So Haiti needs a lot of help and uh, we met with people, a lot of people from different organizations and they say um, Haiti needs help, but some people are crippled in Haiti because they just go give handouts, give handouts, give handouts, but that's not helping them. That's just adding up to their problem. So most organizations go there, they teach them, of how, uh, they give them small projects on how to make money and start businesses. So they tell them, we're going to help you build this hospital, but I want your Haitian people running it. And this is how you run a business. So they give them, the, we have a lot of business people go there and um, help them with the administrative, uh, the management and all the stuff. So like the, at the work site, they're going to build a clinic, um, a dentist. Um, so they're going to have um, some dentists from here at Spencer go there and teach the Haitian dentist on how to uh, do their job and um, run the business. So after five, yeah, uh, like uh, Love Take Truth, it's, it's going to be there for five years. So after a year, five, after five years, they're going to exit and let the Haitians run their own, their, uh, their school, their hospital, the clinic. And they're going to see progress and then so the money, the profit they make out of the business, Love Takes Root wants them to help them back so that they can help another project. So it's going to like go like a circle and they're going to help other projects in different countries. And hopefully it works out. Well, thank you for your time. And thank all of you, everybody who supported and uh, donated and prayed for us. Thank you very much. No, none of us got sick, so thank you.